Yo guys, what's up, Bees Crips, and today I have for you all Warlock Fashion Set number 13. Now, if you're new to the channel and don't know how this sort of video works, I'm basically showing 7 winning submissions from my Discord server, as well as some honorable mentions for sets which are close to winning. And if you want to participate in the next Fashion Set video, then it will be for Hunters, so go ahead and submit your Hunter sets. Now, as well as this, all the winners today will receive the Splicer title within the Discord, this will give you a red colour change for your name and also display the title underneath your name. So yeah, if you do end up liking this video, then please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And as well as this, I've been posting daily to Instagram, so please go and give me a follow over there as well. And without further ado, it's time we get straight into the Warlock sets. So starting off with our first winner, it goes to 6-7 Blackjack with the Ariana free set. Now if you don't know, this is based off the Ariana's Val Exotic, as you could see by the presentation they've done here. I could definitely see why you went with like the flame look on the ghost shell and also the helmets to match with the end of the gun. And I also really like the choice of Sparrow because if you don't know, the trail for the Sparrow is also quite flamey, so that really helps match with the set as well. Now if you're wondering what armor they're using, the helmet arms are the Solstice 2020 ornaments, which is from the Solstice Eververse right now. The chest plate is the Phoenix Protocol Exotic with the Feng Huang ornaments. The boots are the Celestine boots ornament from this year's Solstice. And the bond is the Phoenix Fire Bond from the Guardian Games event. Now the shaders on the set, you want to use Callister Selected on the helmet, Procursive X Chrome on the arms and boots, Cirrus Modular on the chest plate, and to Studo on the Bond. Now you used to get Calisys selected from the normal Leviathan, but unfortunately it has been removed. Procursive X Chrome and Cirrus Modular are from the Shader Bundle in the Eververse Archive, and to Studo is from the Season of the Chosen Pass. But yeah, like I mentioned, overall a really nice set, even without it being based off the Arianas, it is just a very nice set overall. Now it's unfortunate how you can't holster your secondary weapon, as it would be nice to see the Arianas holstered with the set. But overall, like I said earlier, very nice presentation, well thought out set with like the Sparrow and Ghost Shell uh, especially. And yeah, just congratulations on winning and getting your title. So now moving on to the second Discord winner, it goes to Jesse Yun with the Blue Fire Archer. I could definitely see why he gave it that name, and it's just a very nice looking set here. Again, the presentation, you all have been stepping it up like crazy, and it's really nice to see, like trying to incorporate the Sparrow Ship and Ghost Shell. It really just helps bring the whole set together. I especially love the choices here, uh, matches perfectly with the set. I absolutely love that Sparrow as well. I sort of wish I got that now. But anyways, moving into the armor. The helmet is the Lucent Knight ornament from the Dawn in Eververse. The arms are the Sunbraces Exotic with the Eye of Mercury ornament. The chest plate is the Contender ornament from the Guiding Games event. The boots are the Boots of the Hazen Lords from the Vault of Glass raid. And the bond is the Contender ornament from the Guiding Games event. Now the shaders you want to use is Oiled Algae on the whole set except the helmet. And on the helmet you want to use Rivalry Resolute. Now, Old Algae is from the Solstice of Heroes Bright Dust Store, whereas Rivalry Resolute is from the Guardian Games event. Overall, a really nice look. I especially love the um, robes here because I've always liked this gradient they create with some shaders. Uh, you've picked a perfect shader here, Oil Algae, to get like a nice uh, dark to light transition and then also a really nice blue glow. Uh, which obviously matches with that blue fire archer name. I really do love how you use the wish ender as well. Um, the nice curves of the bow match with like the curves on the uh, sparrow. So in this preview, it just looks really awesome. And again, that ghost shell uh, is probably one of my favorite ghost shells in the game. I just love ghost shells that are super unique to the original design. Like these little frost bits and it's just like iced up. It's just so cool. And yeah, it's just an absolutely incredible set. And congratulations again on winning. Now moving on to the next Warlock set. It goes to Pretzel de Bread with the Great Space Grandma set. Now I don't fully understand the name here. Uh, but the set here looks really nice. Now something I especially love about this set is the art piece they made for it. As you could see here, it looks absolutely incredible. But yeah, moving on to the actual set. Uh, the helmet here is the Hood of the Exile. As much as that is overused, I actually quite like it here because it's blended with the Couturier ornament. Now when I covered the Couturier robes, um, a lot of you bashed it for looking terrible. Um, I actually personally really like it. I honestly love armor pieces that display the class logo. That's why I especially like them here. But yeah, moving on to the armor pieces they used. 
like I mentioned the helmet is the hood of the exile, unfortunately no longer obtainable, the arms are the Ophidian aspect exotic with the Cadasus ornament, the robes and boots both use the Katuria ornament from this season's Eververse, and the bond is the forbidden visage from the Eververse archive. Now as for shaders you want to use techno fusion on the helmet, Canis Coat on the arms, Abyssinian Gold on the robes, Amethyst Veil on the boots, and finally New Age Black Armory on the bond. Now you can get Techno Fusion from the Season of the Splicer Pass, Canis Coat is also from this season's Iron Banner, Abyssinian Gold and Amethyst Veil can sometimes be sold in the Brightest Store, and as for New Age Black Armory this can drop from Forge Armor which is in World Drops. Just an incredible job overall on both the armor, the art piece and even the shaders. Now something that would have really helped this set even more um, is if you had like a sparrow or ghost shell to go with it. Uh, but overall it's still an amazing set. And again don't forget to go and check out their Twitter. Uh, I'll leave that again in the description. But yeah congratulations on winning and getting your title. So now moving on to the next Warlock set, it goes to Boy Teed with the Emperor's Seer set. Now this set is based off Kalas and the Leviathan. Now if you don't know this location got removed from the game, uh, but I can definitely see why you picked these specific pieces here. With the unshadable purple gems matching with the purple glows of the set, it's just a really smart choice of armor here. So yeah, moving on to the armor pieces, the helmet is the Astro Cyverse Exotic, the arms are the Thorium Hulticulars from Legendary Engrams, which have now been sunset. Then the chest plate and boots are from the Prestige Leviathan Raid. The bond is the Mysterian's Draw, which has also been sunset. And then as for shaders, you want to use Kallus's Shadow on the helmet and bond, and then Grand Luster on the rest of the set. Now you get Kallus's Shadow from the Spire of Stars Prestige, and as for Grand Luster, this is from the Solstice of Heroes Bright Dust Store. Now as an alternative to Grand Luster, you could easily use Kallus's Selected, uh, the shaders are super similar, uh, just Grand Last has a bit more purple in it. But yeah, like I said, great presentation again. I'm just loving how you all are presenting these sets. And again, it's just amazing here. A very smart choice of like cosmetics to go with the set. And yeah, just congratulations on winning and getting your title. Then moving on to the next Warlock set, it goes to Canaron with the Machine Spawn set. Overall, this set looks incredible. I love how you use the transversive steps and given a different take with it. Um, I haven't really seen many people do rusted looks with the transversive. Most people go very clean looks and I just like how you went a bit different here. Now as for the armor pieces, the helmet is the tangled web hood, the arms are the prodigal gloves, the chest plate is the scatterhorn robes, the boots are the transversive steps exotic, and the bond is the Omega Mechanos ornament from the Eververse archive. Now unfortunately the helmet, arms and chest here are no longer obtainable as they have all been sunset. And then as for shaders you want to use Descent of X Chrome on the helmet, arms and bond. And then Old Growth on the chest plate and boots. Now the Descent of X Chrome is from the shader bundle which is from the Eververse archive. And Old Growth is from this season's Gambit. So I get it while you still can. But yeah, great use of shaders here, especially being able to incorporate old growth. Um, I haven't seen many sets at all with that shader, so you've done an incredible job here with that. And as well as this, you included the very nice Ghost on Sparrow to match the set. So yeah, you did a really awesome job trying something different with the transversive steps, and is ultimately why I chose you as a winner. So yeah, just congratulations again on winning and getting your title. So now moving on to the next Warlock set, it goes to Boopa with the Prey Diff's Disciple. Now as you could see, the Ghost Shell, uh, Sparrow and Ship are all amazing choices. I especially love the uh, Sparrow choice here. Uh, definitely matches super well the set. Again, obviously you want to have Harpy to match the Vex theme. And obviously the Master Vog ship as well. Um, I still have yet to play Master Vog. Um, no real reason behind not doing it. So I'll definitely go in at some point and get that ship. But anyways, moving on to the armor pieces. The helmet is the Hood of the Great Hunt from the Last Wish Raid. The arms are the Channon in Wraps, the Coda from the Prophecy Dungeon. The chest plate is the Crace of the Hazen Lords from the Vault of Glass Raid. The boots are the Geomag Stabilizers with the Electromag Ornaments. And the bond is the Fragment of the Prime which is also from the Vault of Glass Raid. Now the shade you want to use on the whole set is Omnicronia, which is from the Victory Over the Vault Bundle after completing the Vault of Glass Raid. Now something I quite like about this set is that it's quite new player friendly, with new players being able to get almost every armor piece here. Now obviously the only pieces you can get unless you pay for them is the Omnicronia shader and also the exotic ornament. Now you could switch out the shader for Precursive X Chrome and then switch out the boots as well for Transversive Steps Exotic. 
and then you could have a really nice looking set there as well but yeah as for Booper set it's just a really nice set overall um, I just really like the use of the Electromag ornaments as well uh, there's a lot of times where like the top half of the fight doesn't really suit that well the set uh, but you've really made it work well here so just congratulations you created a really awesome set and it's definitely deserving of the title now like always before i get into the final discord winner i do want to give some honorable mentions to sets which i think were close to winning the first honorable mention going to fell cxn1 with this really nice uh, feng huang ornament set uh, this was mainly going up against the first set ultimately i preferred the ariana set but this set is still a really nice look, so congratulations on the set. The next mention goes to Jonist, and also Dredge and Rozu, both having a sort of Ice Queen uh, Warlock set idea. Uh, really good looks overall, and just a really nice idea. Then you also have Shrigma Male, a really nice like dark uh, Warlock set. A nice choice of Goshan Sparrow as well, and I absolutely love this helmet for the Warlock. And then finally we have Ben and Dulcie the Lurch. Both really nice sets, one being a rusted Vex look, and then the other being based off the God of Mischief, which if you don't know is Loki. So yeah, just a great bunch of sets overall, and congratulations to you all on making it to the mentions. But anyways, without further ado, it's time to get into the final winner, which goes to Kroll with the Vex Scientist set. A different sort of take, um, I haven't really seen anyone do Vex Scientist sort of looks and this looks really nice here. So as for the armour, the helmet is the facade of the Hazen Lords from the Vault of Glass raid. The arms of the Channon in Raps the Coda from the Prophecy Dungeon. The chest is the Braytech Researcher's robes from Mars Packages. And the boots is the Transversive Steps with the Path to Convergence ornament. And then finally the bond is the Phenotype Plasticity ornament from the Seasonal and Dying Pass. Now as for shaders you want to use vintage timber on the whole set except the robes and then as for the robes you want to use benevolence of the nine. Now you can get vintage timber from the solstice he was bright to store and as for benevolence this was from the trials of nine which is no longer obtainable. Now something I really love about this set is the use of the Braytech researcher robes which is a pair of robes I never really see and also the benevolence of nine shader. It's a really rare shader but it's got to be one of the nicest in the game. Now if you look up close on the robes, it does create a blue and reddish shine. Uh, this is perfect for this set as the blue shine matches with the facade of the Hazen Lords uh, because the vintage timber is creating a blue glow. And then as for the red shine, that matches with the kneecaps of the Path to Convergence ornament with that red glow. And you've just done a fantastic job, a really nice idea, great execution and it definitely deserving of a title. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the Warlock sets I wanted to feature in this video. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below your favorite Warlock set. And don't forget to join the Discord server so you can participate in the next fashion sets video, which is gonna be for Hunters. So go ahead and submit your best Hunter sets. And yeah, if you did like the video, then please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also go ahead and check out my Instagram. Uh, I've been trying to post there daily and feel free to DM me your sets as I will be posting the best sets I receive. And yeah, thank you all so much again for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.